Hi all, welcome back to part two of Merfolk Ack. Ack, 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 ack. <laughs> Sorry. I just recently watched Mars Attacks. Uh, if you haven't seen it, would recommend. Um, in this episode, we're going to try to get our lair started. Um, and I would say that up to this point, things have been going extremely well. Uh, we got a sweet artifact chainmail out of a store. Plus seven chainmail of Mool in it. Mool in it. Um, RF plus strength plus two in plus two. Uh, an amulet of the acrobat. We're running around with a halberd. It's all pretty great, pretty great so far. Oh, let's quiver throwing nets. We've got four throwing nets by D8. That's pretty amazing all on its own. <laughs> and yeah, we just made it to three pips of piety with Lagonu. So we'll talk about that in a second because we got to go back to D4. So thank you to Kilmatronics for pointing out that we never fully cleared this floor. Uh, we were afraid of the whites. Um, and who knows what legendary loot is hiding in those tiles. <laughs> Apparently none. I mean, it's a seated run, so I guess if, um, if there is legendary loot, a lot of you would know it. But there wasn't. Okay. D8. Three pips of piety. So, oh right, that's, we should change our skills, hang on. Uh, let's just back up a bit here, because they would have made a lot of noise. Okay, so we should change our, our training here. Um, we should focus invocations. And probably we should have that focused for quite a while, or at least we should be training this for quite a while. I'm going to say, well... The cock is going nuts. I'm going to say we want at least 20 invocations. Um, why? Okay, so the ability that we just got access to with three pips of piety is banish. And if you have invocations and you have enough piety to keep spamming this, you can banish pretty much everything. Not quite everything, but pretty much. So what this does is it sends an enemy to the abyss. Uh, it checks the enemy's magic resistance so obviously if it's a um, more difficult more magic resistant such as a unique enemy it's harder to get them but as I said if you have a lot of invo you can get most things now this doesn't technically kill them um, you can meet them later in the abyss when you're there um, so I mean if you meet some unique with some sweet loot and you want to get it back in <laughs> I don't know 15 experience levels, perhaps that's possible. Uh, and as you see there, you get half the creature's experience value. Alright, uh, let's play. But that having that is a huge um, step up in terms of our power. And we're only going to get more as we get more and more power, more and more piety as well. I should probably just read that scroll. I don't remember what scrolls we have or haven't found. Backslash minus. Let me just refresh my memory here. Oh, there are a lot of things. All right, I'm just gonna read it. Uh, yeah, okay. That was magic mapping. <laughs> that was kind of the the one thing that I should have uh, been thinking about, but I was lazy. Okay. Oh, I sh we should rest up. I don't want to be. Oh, we got blasted. Did I get a notification for that? I don't see it there because, as far as I'm aware, the game is supposed to notify you when orcs are carrying ones. But we saw four orcs and a wizard. No notification that one is carrying a wand, and then we just got blasted. That's surprising to me what ah oh, there we go the one disintegration yeah okay yeah very strange we didn't get that warning not that that was hugely threatening but what if that situation was a paralysis one um yeah that's weird anyway we're gonna just read scrolls we have no spells to forget three teleportation Cool. Now I'm afraid of all these orcs. Do they all have wands? 
Uh, Harold. Okay. He has a chainmail of fire resistance. Um, if we want to, are you wearing a much better fire resistance one? I might think about wanting it. Also, he has lots of nets. So he's the sort of enemy that we might be, or we definitely would be thinking about banishing. Um, if we have a look, we've got a 55% chance, which is pretty amazing because his MR is quite high. Like, let's say we try to disintegrate him. It's a 30%. If we tried to polymorph, it's only a 15%. So you get a feel there of how strong Banish is, even against high MR enemies. Okay, he's quite scary. He's only carrying a plus zero flail, which is nice. Um, but Harpoon Shot brings you in and hurts, and then hits you for 20 damage plus the flail. Plus, he nets you and then hits you as well. Uh, the thing is, we want his three nets, so I don't want to banish him yet until he at least throws them all. Oh, he, he brought us in. Um, why don't we bend space, which is our random blink? Okay, we got him to throw the net again. Okay, we've got Sentinel Mark. I don't mind about Sentinel Mark because we kind of got lucky in finding him right at the end of the floor. So, you, you expect we would have seen most, if not everything else on the floor. So, being marked doesn't really affect us. Um, I'm going to blink away again. No, we're not. Oh, you know what else I want to do? Um, yeah, I, I change a lot of Lagunu's abilities because they're ones that you don't want to hit by accident. So I'm going to do equals A. I'm going to change bend space from B to shift B. So it's harder to accidentally press that. Because if you're trying to use some other ability and you accidentally hit B and then you randomly blink, you're like, ah. Uh. I mean, I guess I don't do that with spells. I don't know, I just feel like I mess up with the abilities more than with spells. Anyway, we did it. Um, let's actually get away from him. There we go. Alright, so, uh, we've been slowly killing him. Also, that costs piety, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Zero piety on Ben's face, so we can just blink like that forever. Alright, um, why don't we try to disintegrate him a bit first? Yeah, that's not going to work. Oh sweet, we've got heaps of space. Alright. Maybe we can save our banish. I mean not I mean we nearly killed him, right? Yeah, okay. We'll just fight him. <laughs> uh, that was made a lot easier by the fact he's only got a plain weapon. Oh, alright, there you go. He brought one orc warrior. Cool. We have a some sort of transporter bolt in there that looks enormous. I think that's just one of those god ones that's got a couple of um, altars in it, especially because we had a um, corrupted temple. Um, there are going to be a lot of altars around. Here's a sign, ugly thing. Um, that's a very scary enemy that we can probably disintegrate a bunch as well. Um, I should have checked. What's our banish chance? 73%. Alright. Yeah, we can... No, he hurts way too much. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> we are... Ooh, let that one get a bit too close. Okay. I was just thinking, yeah, whatever. We can, we can banish him for sure with 73% chance. But then, yeah, don't get cocky. Because if you really need it like that, it's going to fail. I just, I should not have messed with that ugly thing whatsoever. What is this? Auto exploring. I'm just thinking, how do we get back to the stair? It's over there. How do we even... I don't know how we did this. Terrible auto explore. Um, if this is one at a time, I feel like we can just kill yaks. Oh, we're getting netted though. We're gonna have 500 nets before we even make it to where. Also, this hasted halberd null is killing us. I should use V, reach over the rest, and just try to hit the halberd null. There we go. We have seven throwing nets. Time to start training throwing. Just kidding, you don't need it for nets. Step back around the corner. 
Um, someone is showing tomahawks. I don't think we care about those. But wait, was that a... Was that a swamp dragon? Oh, it was a shapeshifter. Okay. Never mind. Push the mutation. Um, I was getting excited about potentially getting Swamp Dragon scales to get a form of our poison, but it was fake. Um, Joseph, let's check, does he have anything? Um, plain hunting sling, plain leather armor. I'm going to start fighting him. Let's stand adjacent to him though, because we'd rather he use his uh, quarter stuff than his sling. I feel like we're, we're a pretty strong character. We've got almost 14 pole arms. And if this goes horribly, I should check again. 73% um, chance. Okay, so we can bash him pretty easily. I note that we made it to four pips of piety, so we got corrupt. Um, note how it's on shift Y, because that's another one that I learned. When you accidentally hit the corrupt ability, um, it's not good. <laughs> uh, what does this do? Alright, so you get to use this once per floor. It costs a lot of piety, so you can't spam it. Uh, but what it does is it brings in a whole, um, well, it depends on how much invocations you have. Okay. Dependent on your invocations, it brings in abyss monsters. If you train lots of invocations, it brings in a huge amount of them. Um, and those basically just run around and kill all the enemies on the floor. Um, you'll see it later. We'll definitely be using this. Um, but it's a very, very powerful ability. Um, yeah, lots of piety so you can't spam it, but especially on rune floors, or say Zot 5, um, it's really, really strong. I guess we're not going to bother with this transport, at least for the moment. The only thing in there is a bunch of gold. So, whatever. It's an early orc. Oh nice, we've got water on this floor. Um, this is probably going to be um, our level. Uh, yeah, it is. Yep. That's a, a fairly common level where it's got water eels and then wolves. So, uh, nice to have water. Anytime you see water for your merfolk, you should be pretty happy. Uh, if only because you're faster in it. So you can kite enemies and or run away through it. Um, like for instance, and um, we become more evasive. So we're 29 evasion when we're in this, 26 otherwise. So we may as well just stand in the water and fight. Um, Troll of the armor is too light. I'm just gonna die of that thing. Good. We got a magical helmet there. <laughs> we have been called a. Cocked bat fouling haggard. <laughs> oh, it's really next level. Uh, that seems like an unseen horror because it's blinking around. We don't have sea invis, but if we're in the water, uh, it's going to give us indications of which direction we need to f fight to hit it. Oh, killed it. Good. Magical helmet, let's go. We don't have any helmet at all. It's just plus one. Um, I can't tell what that looks like, but it's red. Um, well, speaking of our poison, here's the rat skin cloak. So it's an interesting plus two cloak. Let's you make rats, which is pretty interesting. <laughs> uh, you get our poison, RN, and messes around with your other stats. Um, well, we don't have enough gold for it yet, but I think it's very possible we want to buy that. Oh, also, um, see how much magic points our higher Laguna abilities require? Corrupt requires seven. So this is why I didn't want to use the Guardian Spirit Amulet, despite thinking that's a very strong amulet. a ring of ice. Um, we will carry that around. 
Oh, we have three scrolls or something. I'm gonna ID it because I feel like this might be blinking. It's for yeah. Yeah, that, that was a really ballsy call. To have three scrolls of blinking is um, unlikely. But I did it. Uh, we're not gonna enchant weapon anything. We're gonna hold on to it until we find some better weapon. This is Curse Teleportation. No, thank you. Oh, we did have a helmet before. I'm crazy. Hmm. Um, we could enchant armor. Our helmet, like we could make it a plus two helmet, but we, we already have plenty of AC. I'm just gonna sit on it. Um, I don't know what you do with your scrolls that you're not using, but I sit on mine. Don't want them to blow away. <laughs> Where are our skills? Um, we, we shouldn't train pole arms forever. Where's, it's tempting as a Murphur, but Mindalay of a Halberd is 16. I'm gonna set a skill target here for 16. Because what's above that? A Bardish. And Bardish is a very rare. I mean, we can train in training in anticipation. We can train in anticipation of the Bardish. That's hard to say, um, but we're sort of wasting skill if we do that. Okay, that's a ration shot. It's, um, can I stop all your irrational fears of starving? Uh, you shouldn't have those on this character. Go to ten. Um, oh, we're being hit. I wasn't noticing. Um, okay, that's gonna be the unseen horror again. Uh, I was hoping that was a hallway. You want to get these guys in a one tile hallway so you can swing and hit them, but that's really far away. Well, I mean, we're kind of sensing him. I guess while we sense him, I don't know why we're sensing him every single turn. Okay, we're not anymore. I jinxed it. Okay, well it was easier when we were sensing him. Oh wait, here's a one tile hallway. Okay, we can stand here. Alright, so it's probably to the right of us. I can hold control and then press right. Yeah, we're missing it. So we are swinging in the direct, correct direction. Um, if I were dying here, we could try to banish him knowing the direction he's in. Alright, kill him. More ID. We have a Potion of Berserk Rage. Uh, there's a staff, we should pick those up. Oh, okay, that's why you don't, uh, you don't just tab like crazy. Here's a four-headed Hydra, um, and if we hit it with Halberd, with a Halberd, we're going to chop off more heads. So if we're going to fight that Hydra at all, which I don't know that we should, I mean, a four-headed Hydra is not that scary. Especially when we have 19 AC. So maybe we could fight it? Oh, I went to the wrong weapon. We need to do the spear. Oh, that's really scary. I want to blink away from it. Okay, that's uh, really not working. Um, I want to test our banish chances. 58% chance. I feel like this is safer to just banish it at this point. And we just don't deal with that nonsense. Uh, let's turn unknown staves on, test this one. Um, could be giving us resistances. Not this time, that was just summoning. Uh, a D11 Manticore, that's really dangerous. Um, I'm just going to immediately start banishing it. So, uh, it barbs really hurt and will stop you from moving. And then it puts out just a lot of physical damage. So it can bite for 26 and claw twice for 14. That's really dangerous. So 74% banish chance. Don't mind if I do. Third time lucky. And that that is the power of Lagonu. <laughs> Not having to fight things. <laughs> oh crab vault. Um we'll do that later. Should we? Can we see what our banish chance is? 74% chance. Ah, oh, let's just do it. 
We've got RF, but we're dying to it. Okay, so we're just gonna have to banish all the crabs. Oh, this will also have an entropy weaver in it. Uh, we'll come back later. We'll fight this later. Um, if nothing else, just because if we have to banish all the crabs, I'm not confident that we won't just run out of piety and then we'll <laughs> have to fight them, especially once we get to the entropy weaver. But remind me if I forget about this. Crab vault sometime. All right, and now we've done D11. Um, I tend to not want to do D12, so we'll head to left. Um, you know what we could do? Um, I don't want to do it yet though. But potentially, we could go run around a little bit on the top level of the Orcish Mines. Try to pick up a bunch of gold and then go get the Rat Skin Cloak. But we'll see how we go in there first. If we're getting owned because we don't have our poison, um, we can go do that. But I don't know, we shouldn't get owned. Um, any of the scary poison monsters we can always banish. Um, so I'm thinking of black mambas, spiny frogs. None of those have high ammo. Oh, it's, we got one of these wolf entrances with 70 million wolves. Yeah, we'll just stare dance those. And the problem is we're going to come back down next to four-headed hydra. Yeah, that's okay. We got really high stats. Um, I should get in the water. Okay, note that the Hydra is going to be fast in the water too. Um, I probably shouldn't have done that. Let me wink away. And then we're just going to banish the Hydra. Again, I don't want to mess with it. Got it. Reach level 12, we're going more strength. Cool. <laughs> Cocky's going nuts. Uh, Australian birds are so pretty sounding, right? <laughs> all these other countries where the birds sing nice, pretty songs, and our Australian birds just like. <laughs> uh, what's going on with Frozen? Okay. Birds might be chomping at my internet lines. Sixteen for pole arms done. I wish we had a bit, um, a bit more of an exotic weapon than just a plain halberd. But uh, we got it to Mindalay pretty quickly. Um, are we just gonna train like this? So I'm wondering if I should focus fighting, we'll get more HP, or if we're just gonna go all in invo. I think we're okay like this. We'll go all in invo. Here's Arg. Uruk. See, so she's scary. She's got a plus three battle axe and a wand of acid. She might be one that I just really don't want to mess with. Or she might be one I can just polymorph. Okay, one in three chance. Let's test banish. It's 75. So we can we can get her pretty easily. Um, and if she stands at max range throwing javelins, she can't hit us with the wand of acid. So I, th I, think, I think we'll try some polymorphs first. Okay, it's failing, and she's starting to run at us now, so I don't want to get acided. Um, see, I would consider fighting her without the acid, but with the acid, that makes her, it's just too scary. So I think we just need to banish her and then not worry about it. Okay. Maybe we'll get the Wand of Acid a long time in the future. Um, we're dying to, dying to spiny, um, to blink frogs. That's a worry. I think I just want to banish the porcupine. It hurts you when you attack those. I feel like this situation is a little bit out of hand that I'd rather just get rid of it. Um, yeah. The Komodo dragon's fine, we can just run from him. Can we, is there any water around? We'll just make this easier. We'll fight him now. Just because I'm lazy. <laughs> Can't be bothered running away anymore. This amulet is 
uh, regen. Um, I don't know. Regen amulets are nice, but I feel like the acrobat is pretty powerful. So I'm going to keep that one on, at least for now. We'll carry regen around though. Maybe I'll change my mind. Um, a basilisk. It's probably got a pretty high chance, 40% chance to get us. That's fine if there's not also a spiny frog around. Uh, Fana. Um, it's a 41% chance to banish him, so he's got pretty good MR. We have a Wand of Ice. So we can be... Um, stronger against him than otherwise. Is he... He has an uncursed ring of ice, so... I believe that should make him vulnerable to fire. So let's just shoot him with a couple of flame wands. He's gonna go step behind his... Friends. Wish I had friends. Why don't we get to make ice base? That's fine, because we're not playing... Um, <laughs> I'm using all my brain power to walk correctly. I can't think of words right now. Uh, we're not playing a, um, a hybrid character at the moment. That's why. Alright. Uh, we are better off fighting him here at the stairs because we can bring him back up and... Oh, he didn't come. That's so sneaky. We can bring him back up and then his summons will disappear. So we can just chase him like this. Can we go down? We're hitting him continually but doing no damage. Which he's just got a plus two cold resistance rope. How is he tanking so much? Okay, that's all our flame ones. Um, chances of disintegrating him are not good. Alright, we killed him. Uh, let's pick up his ring of ice again. So we've got two of those. Um, if we see an ice cave, we're going to want all the RC we can get. And we'll switch back to... I mean, we can... Yeah. Oppressive heat. Alright, cool. So we've got two RF. Two points of RF, which is good. We have a magic mapping. That is worth doing. Okay, if nothing else, it would be fantastic to try to get a flaming weapon. Oh, we also have Shoals, which is good. Um, Shoals is really nice as a merfolk because you're going to get um, a lot of demon tridents. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, early way to get demon tridents. Okay, so our volcano is down there. Uh, if we could get a flaming weapon such that we could potentially chop Hydra heads... That would be fantastic. Um, yeah, that's the main thing. It's not like we're really in need of RF gear. Uh, well, it's kind of too late. But, yeah, it's too late. I think in hindsight, I would have put our Amulet of Regeneration on. Um, because we want to fight our way to the volcano without resting. So the bonus regen would have helped us get there. Looks like not going to meet anything too scary on the way, fortunately. Right, well, I'll just go in. Cool. Um, I didn't immediately recognize this this one, this layout. Oh, actually, I think I do. It will be a circle, and there'll be a lindworm. Excuse me? <laughs> Can you just let me through please game? It's really annoying. I don't want to open that room half dead already. Stop it! We, we have two pips of RF and we're dying to the flame clouds. I'm just going to go the other way. That's how you feel. A double molten gargoyle. Did one shoot the other one? It really did. The one at the back just shot through the front one. <laughs> and heard it. Uh, if I need to banish them, it's a 60% chance, so that seems fine. I think we'll just fight them. 
Apparently, even though they have lots of AC, we can just easily kill them with our plain halberd. Which is interesting because Fanar with a rogue we couldn't. Yeah, here are the limb ones. Okay, that's the one I was thinking of. Um, let's back up. Uh, we're not really afraid of the Linworms. We have a lot of RF. And we could just banish them. And I think this Earth Elemental is just not figuring out how to path to us. That's why I backed up, because I was going to wait for it to come to us, but it's just stupid. It is brainless, right? I think it is technically brainless, so I can't actually be angry about that. Oh, look at that! There is a glaive of flaming. That is exactly what we wanted. Alright, new best friend. <laughs> Friendship ended with plain halberd. Plus two glaive of flaming is now my best friend. We're, we're putting that on A. Um, this requires 20 skill. So let's start focusing pole arms again, back up to 20. That's a fantastic find. Uh, we know that we got shoals, not swamp. So I guess it's not um, it's not super important to have a Hydra chopping weapon, but we're probably going to be meeting Hydras in lair, so this is useful. Um, we've got magical gloves, plus two gloves of strength, that's really nice. We've got 22 strength, we're ready for the gold dragon scales. Um, that's a ladder tang of flaming, they're kind of rare, so I'm going to carry it out. Oh, and I guess we'll pick up the blowgun. Cool. Which I'm never going to remember to use, but we have it now. Alright, so that's a that's a pretty big power boost getting a Glaive of Flaming up from a... Why can't I move? Oh, that's apparently Deep Lava. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't. The game's lying to me. Oh, that's an E for it. Ah, that's okay. We've got a lot of RF. Uh, that's a lot of Fire Elementals, though. That's fine. We've got the glaive now. Look at this. Okay, we're actually dying. <laughs> um, should I just banish him? 87% chance. Uh, okay, if we get any more hurt, we'll banish him. We didn't. That was a bit greedy. Alright, so, um, I feel like we'll probably be using this glaive for a while. Um, Bardishas are really rare, so I feel like, uh, but we're also at a really strong point. So I was going to say, we may as well enchant weapon our glaive up, but I don't know. I, I think I'm happy to just wait. Our character is really strong right now, so we're not really in a hurry for a power boost. Whereas if we were struggling, that would make it more likely that we should... That would be the correct play. Yeah, we'll just chill. I already feel the difference. Alright, these aren't real. <laughs> Rayu Biar's Ghost. We're playing a um, seated game, so it's not an actual player. We reached level 13. How are you going for time? We're flying through this. Look at this. It's like world record ultra pace. Uh, new stuff. It's cold. Um, I think we have enough cold resistance to not have to carry that around with us as well. Alright, well here's a Hydra, but we're not afraid of those anymore. Wow, well, that's a swarm if I've ever seen one. This feels like layer 6. Let's pick the new stair we don't know. Okay, that's a bit better. Got a new polymorph wand. Uh, up to 19 charges. I have a lot of polymorph. Alright, let's go Hydra. You got nothing. Yeah, you have trivial when you can chop your heads off. Is that first book of the game? Oh wow, it's the... Oh, game had to do it. Give us the Scoured book. Well, it's nothing quite like a Merfolk Scoured. 
Um, one, because they're so good with poems, and poems are fantastic with Spectral Weapon. But also as a merfolk, you have a plus one Charmed Aptitude. Okay, well, we're in Chainmail, so I'm, I'm going to say it's going to be very hard to use those charm spells. But let's put Song of Slaying, Regen, and Spectral Weapon in our list to learn. And you know what? Let's learn them. Uh, because, who knows? Maybe at some point we could quaff a brilliance and then just pull out a spectral weapon. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're not in a hurry to use those, but there's a good chance that we might uh, become a bit of a scout as well. Um, I mean, it, that's not easy in chainmail, but these are quite low level spells. 3 on regen and spectral weapon, 2 on song of sling. And we have a lot of strength right now with 22 that we, we could definitely cast in heavy armor. It's just the thing that we would need to do is we need to train armor skill probably to make that viable and that's not going to be for a little while yet but yeah I think there's a good chance that we might want to be casting spectral weapon let me amend that there's definitely a chance we want to cast spectral weapon I think there's a good chance we will Um, if nothing else, because we're going to run out of things to train. Because <laughs> Murphok have such nice aptitudes. That is a ring of magical power. Is there any point in carrying that? I feel like there is. Um, our abilities require a lot of magic points. Let's just have extra magic points. If we, if we meet... An enemy that has draining will switch to the negative, the positive energy ring. Alright, layer 3 done. We are flying. That's a wave of frost. Do we have another? We don't have another magic mapping. Okay. So we're just going to have to walk around and explore. Um, let me change what I did last time. Let's fix that. So we're going to put the regen amulet on this time. Kind of rather avoid the yaks but the other stairs are really far away we're gonna waste a lot of time just walking to the other stair on this floor oh wow we're gonna die to these yaks we're actually just dying to random yaks okay well that's that's great news <laughs> uh, we are told that the faint crackling is very distant that's not good news Uh, let's stay away from the dispersal trap. Uh, if it's very distant, oh, there's a bit of water here. Um, I guess that's a, a good argument to be made to just go to the floor above. So we'll heal while walking a, a very distant amount of distance. Uh, but knowing that we're not going to meet any enemies in the process. Oh, Dream Sheep. I want to fight Dream Sheep. At least this is a really nice choke point that they're probably going to get stuck in. We've got a bunch of wands here. Um, that is random effects, meh. That is paralysis, we'll pick that up. Um, I don't want to fight bees right now. A bee vault when we're trying to find the ice cave is not good. Uh, distant means pretty close though. That's good news. Uh, so we're heading left. We should preemptively put one of the rings of ice on. Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, because the ice cave can have ice themed enemies guarding it. Oh, here's our ice cave, nice. Yep, like these rhyme drakes. Alright, good, so we found it. Uh, let's put the other ice ring on. And let's also switch to the amulet of the acrobat. And let's see what awaits us here. It's a simulacra one. Okay, this is really dangerous. These guys hit really hard. Uh, but we have two pips of RC, and we can also just start banishing them. So, 91% chance. Simulacrum and zombies have really low magic resistance. So, we can just get all of these guys. Um, that was one wolf spider. Let's get to the exit, just in case. Let's try to get the other wolf spider. We can't. We'll just keep banishing them. Okay, we can probably fight one death yak. Okay, cool. Alright. Thank you, Lagoonu. 
That's a really, really dangerous ice cave start. Um, this happened last game, actually. We've got the same one. But if you come in here and you don't have any RC or means of fighting those guys, you should immediately exit. Another good tip is if you have digging ones, which we do. We didn't need it, though. Just immediately walk back and dig a kill hole at the back here. So then you can fight one at a time. And for instance, so say we had the kill hole like this behind us. Um, we know that they have a really low magic resistance. You could paralyze the one in the front and then reach over it to the ones behind it with the reaching on the glaive. So there's another way to do it. But yeah, We just spammed banish. <laughs> Our main Laguna tool. Oh. We're gonna actually own this ice cave. We got a flaming glaive as well. All this stuff is susceptible to fire. Everything's just gonna get owned here. Even if we meet a fiend, it's the same thing. Um, yeah, dying to this guy. Yes, I shouldn't get too cocky. I should back up. Is there? There's no great choke point where I can actually force them to fight me one at a time. Wow, we're dying and we're slowed. Wow, okay. 77% um, chance to banish them. I feel like I should get away though. Um, let me random blink. Okay, I blinked them with me. Um, this is real scary. That's okay. Let's banish the front one. I don't have any... Could I die to these? So we're slowed. Um... We could, we could get close to dying here. I wonder if I should just... So if I, if I banished one, we'd most likely get it. But if we failed, it would have two turns to hit us. Um, the problem is... Trying to heal... Um, we would be slow as well. So they could probably kill us. I'm probably better off just trying to banish it. Okay, we got the front one. Um, and again, probably better off just trying to manage it. Okay, got it. Alright. That's what you get for getting super cocky. <laughs> uh, I should not have just been fighting those two in the open like that. Especially once we started getting really hurt. I should have been banishing. Let's ID this scroll. It's blinking. Okay, that would have really helped. Okay, let's back up. Let's not get cocky this time. Fight this stuff one at a time. Um, yeah, I'm slowed, so we're gonna banish. Um, here's a choke point. Okay, so we should use that that point to fight them when we have multiple frozen guys. You should pay attention to these simulacra too. Uh, if you get really scary ones like gold dragons, they require respect. Can you die, please, sir. You are susceptible to fire. <laughs> A bunch of ice blast. Is that it? No, it's not it. We gotta fight this guy. Like if that's all the loot in here, I am, I am angry. I want to put in a complaint to Ice Cave Management. No, that's a necromancer. That's fine. We don't have any MR, so he could agony us. But I'm not actually that threatened by him. Okay, we got some some books. Ice themed books. <laughs> oh, a centaur barding. Okay, so it's not really exciting. Um, do we care about any of these? Not really. I know I said I wanted friends to summon ice beasts, but I don't think we're ever doing that. I'll put it in my spell spell list to learn though. All right, that's our ice cave done. Um, why don't we see if we can just quickly Speed run to layer six. 
no, <laughs> no, because we're dying. All right. Um, we have a lot of curing. I'm just gonna cure. Okay. Turns out I shouldn't be speedrunning like a complete maniac. Um. Now my game is lagging out, and we're dying to blink frogs. All right, let's banish one. We failed. Let's try again. Got him. Okay. Nearly dying. And bees. Okay. I'm going to stop, I think, because I'm playing like a bit of an idiot now. All right. So that ice cave was okay, I guess. Um, it wasn't okay. It was bad. We didn't get any good loot out of it. Um, and let me remember to switch our rings back. Fire and magical power. All right. Cool. That's going to be it for this episode. If you join me in the next one, we'll finish off Lair. Um, we very nearly have enough gold for the rat skin cloak. And then we'll be heading into Orc. Alright, bye.